Flo, and we are back with our heroes inside of the ancient runes, and they have went down this eastern corridor, and they have found stone gargoyles upon these pedestals. So um, we're going to get into, you know, this kind of bad event, as I like to say. Now, when you do these, it uses a D20 system, okay? So what we have to do is we have to test agility because the heroes have to kind of, you know, um, dodge these poisonous darts that are shooting out from these gargoyles' mouths. Agility 14. Let's just, we're going to go right down here, like with our heroes. You know, remember I used, I showed you the initiative tokens. So let's take a look at Sir Brennus's card. His agility is not that hot. He's got a 1. So what we can do is we're, we can add 1 to this die roll. Okay, and see if he has the success with it. So we got our D20. We're going to put it in the dice tower. And look at that. He 19 or 18, 19. So he saw that dart coming and just got out of the way. So he's safe. Next up, we have Enwin, my favorite hero. Now she's got an agility of two, so we can add two to this roll. So, you know, picture this is the dart coming at her. And so look at my heroes are doing awesome tonight. 17. She dodges it. Next up is Zeke, and he has got an agility of 1. He's the wizard, so let's see how he does. He's got to get 14 or higher or adding to that. And no, that he got a 3. That dart shot him like right in the neck. Okay, so let's consult our adventure card. On a fail, um, the hero is hit by a dart. Roll 1d3. The result is health and essence lost. So we're going to take the D3, roll it, ouch, three. So Zeke is going to lose three essence, one, two, three, and three health, one, two, three. So as you notice, our wizard, um, you know, I mean, I love this stuff. Wizards, of course, have a lot of essence. However, they don't have a lot of health. On the flip side, our barbarian here, Maheliac, a lot of health, but not so much essence. So, moving right along, on um, Paloom, our rogue, um, she's right here, and I'm going to use my pointer, right there, she's got an agility of three, so she should do pretty good. As long as she gets 11 or higher, she'll pass. Oh my, look at that. I roll 20s. That's how I roll. How corny, right? Okay, but just look at that. Just like a rogue, she just totally missed that. We're going to go over here to Faith, and she is our cleric, and Faith has an agility of one. So she has put it in. No, and this was a six, so six and one is only seven. So she is hit by a poison dart. Roll the D3. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but only one. So we're going to go over to Faith's card, and she's going to lose one health. Remember, this is prototype you know, hero cards, all this. This is not the material, but, you know, I know I've said that, but I've had comments. They're not going to be this thin. They're going to be a nice, you know, consistency, thickness. Okay, our last one, Maheliac. He's our barbarian. He's got an uh, agility of two. So let's see how Maheliac does. Take the D20. No, he got hit. Six, probably in the leg. Six and two is eight, of course. I'm going to roll the D3. One. So that was was pretty good. They, You know, Zeke did the worst out of all of them. He took a lot. Okay, so this is going to take one and one. He's still doing good, though. He's got 11 health. He's got seven essence. So, guys, I, I have to say, I think you know, I, I'm really enjoying playing this for you. And just let me say before I forget, this, like, little battle scene we're doing, I didn't reuse any of this. This is one of the reasons why this took so long. All Everything I created and wrote and developed is all unique. So you're not going to see the stone gargoyles again. I was very, you know, passionate. I'm not, I cannot stop saying this. I loved creating this, this Avalon Adventure Board game for us. Okay, so that's just one. This is like a, dro a, a, a drop of water in a bucket of what this game has to offer. But we're going to do more. Don't go away yet. We're going to do more. Because we're going to run through all of the events on, in the um, ancient rooms. Because I'm seriously having a good time. And after I upload these videos, I'm going to play this game.
make a full game. Okay, so let's just take this out. And two, I wanted to say this game does not take a lot of time to set up. It, it's, it's very quick to set up. Okay, so we're going to go back to our card. Now, I'm, I'm going to roll, but I, you know, I want to let you see everything. So we saw just now on a three to four, this could happen in the Ancient Ruins. And we saw kind of like the neutral thing, five to seven, where the heroes were just kind of walking by and the moonlight illuminated these crude etchings of skulls upon the massive doors. Let's roll and see what else could happen. So remember, we're over here. And um, when you're done with an event, oh, let me say this too. I think you got this. You only have one event. You do want, you roll that D12, you have the one event, then that's it. Put the red ship there and move on. So you don't do multiple events. One event per region unless you re-enter it. And remember, if you re-enter, you're going to roll a D6. So let's roll for something else. I'm hoping this is going to get something else and not the same thing. 12. Let's consult 12. Not seeing that. Okay, now see here, 11 to 12. Randomly select a hero. I'm glad that came up, so let's, let me show you this. A lot of these cards, and that's one of the things that really keeps this game fresh and the replayability, a lot of this stuff is going to tell you to randomly select a hero. And I think that's very appropriate, you know? It's just, you know, you're out here in the wilderness, out in Avalon, and maybe one of the heroes just, you know, wandered into this. So, remember, we have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very easy. We're going to randomly select the hero. You take a D6 and you roll. How easy. Okay, Mahaliak, our barbarian. And, dude, you're going to see it in the... In the last battle here, sometimes you're going to randomly select multiple heroes for battles. I think that's going to be the last thing. So that's like the grand finale, at least for this one adventure card. So let me get Mahaliak. If you can't tell, I'm having an awesome time playing this with you guys. Okay, so we have him. So let's see, let's see what this says. Randomly select the hero. We do. We have Mahaliak, so let's set him here. This hero has ventured off into a small antechamber that has a soft blue glow. Within this room is a secret door. Test willpower 10. On a success, the hero discovers the secret door and leads to a small chest inside the wall. Draw one loot card from the bronze treasure chest deck. On a fail, the hero exits the room and rejoins their comrades. Okay, so... You know what? Let's get the battle board again. We're going to talk more about these and the amazing artist I worked with um, to create this. So, you know, here's this room they, they talk, that you know I wrote about that this, um, you know, ventured into a small antechamber. It has a soft blue glow to it. And that's what I mean about thematic and creative. Everything is like this that I wrote. I, I, I love writing like this for you guys, you know, to get you really immersed in this. Within this room is a secret door. So I'll tell you what, let's just say, let's just put this up here. Maybe that's where the secret door is. Maybe Mahaliak came through this door over here, you know? So he's in here. So, um, and what's that? Inside the secret, there's a bronze treasure chest. I get very immersed in these games. So you don't have to do what I'm doing, but I like doing it. So let's just put a chest behind there. So what he has to do is take the D20, and what's this telling us? Let me put you down there. So he's in this anti-chamber. Um, he has to test willpower. Okay, so let's look at his willpower real quick. His willpower is two, okay? So we can add two to this roll with the D20. Um, okay, willpower 10. On a success, the hero discovers the secret door. Let's roll. Oh, look at that, 11. The heroes are doing good tonight, I must say. So, you know, he was looking around here maybe, and he found the secret door. And open it, there's a treasure chest. So, where we had uh, success. Draw one loot card from the bronze treasure chest deck. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to shuffle these. But, I mean, I'm not, we'll, we'll, we'll reveal it, but... Um, OK, 
okay? And remember, when you take these, you're not allowed to look. You set that aside. When the game's over, we reveal what, you know, after the game's over, you're allowed to open your treasure chest, so to speak. So that's another event with um, another good outcome. Um, let's reset here. Again, you do only do one event. You don't do multiple ones. You do one and you're done. I'm going to put Mahaliak back here. And um, I'll tell you what, I'm running up on the 12-minute mark. Let's, I'm going to clear this. I'm going to upload this. Come right back. We're going to do more with the Avalon Adventure Board Game. I hope you're enjoying this, guys. I'm loving hanging out with you and showing you this. And I promise I'll be back in a flash. Talk to you soon.